Hi there. We got this new series where we talk about skill, skill acquisition and uh, how we teach and how we train is by using uh, sort of like ecological dynamics and especially we use a lot of constraints-led approach. So that means that we are sort of like giving the invitations to people that, okay, how will I actually get the skill very soon and I understand it quicker than, than, than in, in normal approach, which is more like, okay, focusing on form and stuff like that. Well, anyway, in this session, I want to focus on punching. And what is important in punching is, of course, that you hit the target you want to hit from any position that you, want, you, you, you are in, and you hit it effectively. And for that effective punching, you must have, of course, mass times velocity equals unconsciousness. But then, of course, we can go into the fine motor part of that, of, okay, how can I be more efficient and then so on. Traditionally, uh, what I see in training is, of course, we go into that, all right, this is how you form your fist, and this is how you strike with your palm, this is how you strike with your elbow. Yes, those give sort of like focus, that, okay, feel the power here and feel the power here and, and, and so on. But then what is usually missing in the first place is that hit something hard and then hit it so that you will not hurt yourself. In traditional way, we focus a lot that, okay, have a good fighting stance, put your feet here and, 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 and then you have to raise your hand here and the other hand here. And, then you are in a position like this. Of course, everybody understands that I'm a little bit exaggerating so, and, 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 and so on. But anyone who's been around, you know, will, you know, see this happening. And we are here. And now the real question is that where is that mass, that weight that I need to have behind the punch, however I'm going to punch, and that weight is here. Now we need the weight to be here in the target, right? What if I just say to you that, okay, now hit that very hard. Don't worry about your feet at this moment. Just hit that very hard. And then people go like this. Okay, are you feeling the hit? Well, yeah, I'm feeling the hit. What if you just, you know, squeeze in your stomach a bit and then do it, do, do it again? Think that you are starting to go for a run. Do you feel it better? Yes. So the first lesson in the person's mind was that, Okay, you have to feel that punch going in and to get that mass behind that hand. Then another thing is that we go into focusing on, okay, well, your hand needs to be in this and that and so and so on position. When you take a two-year-old and tell them to punch, this is the cross motor that the two-year-old has. If you want them to be able to do a straight and said, okay, push me, and everybody does this. Uh, hey, you can try this at home. You know, if you have kids or so on, just give them a job to do. And that's the mission. Hit the target as hard as you can is the mission. Not focusing on put your hand like this, stand like this, and then try to do that. Because all that is not necessarily transferring. It's not going, the pieces are not going together. And then when we see in any a combat sport, we see people in, 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 in their ready stances standing like this. Everybody knows that there is not going to be any hard punches. And now the person thinks that they're doing a good job because they're doing this. And then when the coach is saying, okay, now you have to turn your hand when you hit. So what starts to happen is this. And all right, you know, if there is a constraint, let's say that there is something that you need to call uh, pass, of course, your hand will go around that obstacle. That's the constraint. And then the trajectory of the hand changes. But if there is no constraint, there is nothing stopping you, why not just go straight? And yes, there will be millions of comments on, yeah, 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 but the hard punch is like this and hard punch is like this. Hard punch is what you see in the end. If that target moves, that's a hard punch. If you feel that punch that, hey, it connected, that's a hard punch. There is no question about that. Transferring the focus from form to goal. That's the first key lesson. So how to exercise this? Why are these good equipment? Easy to access for anybody. And if I have a hard time of understanding 
the tra trajectory of the hand in a punch, but I'm focusing on that, okay, now do that punching with the ball. And now I'm offering her to punch me to, the el to my shoulder so that I will be moved backwards. And now the squeezing of the hand. Remember that in the end you have to squeeze the ball so that it will not be dropped. You clench your fist in the end so that your wrist will be intact. So the idea is like this, doing that. And now just hit harder. I need to be moving backwards. Yes. What if you were going to take a run if you drop down your body weight a bit and then you go. And I can feel the result in my shoulder. We can turn around perhaps to see a little bit better. Just use the same. I'm here. Yes, now harder. And doing this. Now, she needs to do the same punch. And now I'm bringing a constraint. Now she will not hit my shoulder with that hand. If I am saying that, okay, once I hit you to the head, you have to move away and still hit me. Now she's hitting someplace else. But still, as you can see from the punch, just do the hard punch, I am moving backwards. So all the time we are training punching. We're not focusing on how is her hand, what's the trajectory of the hand. We are focusing that she has the goal of hitting me so that I will be moved backwards. No special equipment needed, just a softball that you can squeeze in your hand. And then targets here. And of course, you can do the same thing with punching backs and so and so and so. If we go into, uh, now we were doing crosses and jabs and, and so on, like straight punches. But then, if we are training like uh, putting in hooks, so I, I'm creating a constraint that she cannot do a, a straight punch, but she needs to cross my hand. So I'm trying to hit you there, and now you need to hit my ball. Okay, I have a target here for her. Okay, not a very good one, better one. Now, how could you actually turn the hand so that you will actually hit? Now you can see how the trajectory of the hand is going. Bam. Can you move sideways a bit more, thinking that perhaps you come from there? Now you're still doing a straight punch. Okay, good. So, all of this punching, thinking that Ankle of the hand is not important, we're just giving a target, and then we are creating a constraint. Instead of, okay, now let's do an overhand hook and start doing this. And then the person is like doing this. Again, no weight in the end. So the movement is natural once you have the target. And that movement will develop and be a little bit different every time. Of course, you can have good form and stuff. Okay, this is how you do. And that, that, that is what we are trying to do with the uh, AI coach that we have in use. So once you understand you know, these components, then you can go into training because all of those reference movements start from a good body position, from positions like this. And whether you are gonna do uppercuts, whether you're gonna do side hooks or jabs and crosses, whatever. And that's where the AI is your mirror. It's, 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 it, that, that, that's what we call it today, it's today's mirror. It gives you instant feedback on how did I do it, then go back to practicing. All right, I have one more tip in punching, that how can I myself feel that whether I'm punching you know, good or, or not. And now, remember, I need to get the weight efficiently as possible to the target, and target being here. So, in the idea that when you see uh, people are turning their hip here, and now you are thinking that, okay, how did that feel like? How did that feel like a punch? And I can tell you right now that I don't feel the punch. I don't feel any sort of uh, effect on my shoulder here. But once I am straight forward, I am doing this. Now I can feel, that, hey, something is happening in my torso over there. So thinking of this, how does it feel to hit it? Just, you know, very, very simple exercise. And you can come up with any sort of things like this 
so you can actually get to the uh, training. So what about with hooks? Think about a, an open palm strike. It's the same body motion as with the, uh, any sort of uh, side hook or, 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 or so. And now, what you see in, in practice is usually this. People are doing this. We are learning to, to do things like this. We are rotating our hand. Where is that body motion? But thinking that you have a ball in your hand and you hit it as hard to the wall as possible. Now my hand is straight, right? So then you put your own hand here and now you have to hit the hand in between. So my hand is now the constraint. And now I have to hit the ball, the wall here. Now I cannot do this. Okay, how could you do it? So self-organize a bit. Well, this is how I can do it. I can start turning. And yet we are not in a perfect form of a hard punch. But then think that you were starting to run. Now you have the hand here and now you're hitting. Okay, now I start to feel that I am doing some sort of job in my shoulder. So the movement skill is the one that we are doing. And now whether this is more like action capacity so I can do this training because the skill always needs that I need to have the perception. I need to see that something is happening and then the skill is to actually perform this action capacity in that motion. So now I'm trying to hit you to here, just come a bit. Now she has a constraint of the wall, so she cannot jump very far, but she needs to move. And, and now I want you to hit that ball either with your fist or with open palm, it doesn't matter. But I am also trying to hit you to the shoulder. Okay, now I come a little bit closer. Now I come a little bit closer. And now she's already going with the elbow. You see, I am creating the constraints. First it was this, and now leave the hand here, leave the hand here. Now you see, an overhand hook. I come closer, now it becomes a hook. Or you can just hit with the fist, it's easier for you. Probably easier for you. So now I come closer, now she's using that fist, and you see, the hook for me. And if I come even more close, she's probably going to use her elbow all in one exercise. And now guys, this is not hard to do, just go out there and explore. So self-organize, thinking of the constraints, think about the movement, not the technique. Focus on the goal, hit the target as hard as you can. Remember mass times velocity equals unconsciousness. And then let yourself and anybody if you're coaching, let them self-organize, you know, how can they do that the best? And then if you see that they are stuck with some stuff, just try, start putting constraints. Take a wall, limit the motions, limit the options that they have and invite them to use the best options there are. If you find that this content could be useful for somebody, please do share it. It's out there. I, we really want this uh, this message to go through and we would very much like to see people training in self-defense and martial arts using the CLA and getting better results. All right guys, hit like, hit subscribe and see you in the next session.